I want to start with uh, just your background. I know you've been a United Way for for a while. Just just kind of give us a, a background of of uh, where you came from, and then uh, and then what your role has been there at United Way. Yeah. So as far as on a personal note, born and raised in Fort Smith. Uh, when I got out of college, started at Weldon Williams and Lake here in Fort Smith as uh, in HR, and that's actually my first involvement with United Way. So. I actually ran the campaign for them, so I fundraised for WWNL, and uh, it gave me an opportunity to really get connected in the community. I served on a community investment panel, which gave me an opportunity to really go to the 31 partner agencies of United Way and understand how a United Way really operates within um, not only the six counties we serve, but just as a whole as United Way. So uh, that was awesome. Got to move from there to a position at Mercy, always stayed connected with United Way. And then I had the opportunity in 2018 to actually come in as the resource development director, which meant for the last three years, I've done all the fundraising for them. And then right before the end of the year, uh, Eddie Lee Herndon, who had been the executive director, decided to, uh, to move on. And the process began to, to get you in that place. That's correct. So went through the interview process. I was really hopeful that I'd have that opportunity because my heart really is with this community and, and with United Way as a whole. I've, I've always either volunteered for United Way and, and contributed to United Way. So for me to be able to lead this organization forward, uh, I was thrilled to have been given that opportunity. All right. So starting with the flood from two or three years ago, that was challenging, but it, it goes without question. Uh, that the last couple of years with, uh, with the pandemic has been challenging. What do you see your, your short-term and even long-term goals for Fort Smith United Way? Yeah, I think just continue to expand what we do in the community. I mean, since I've been here, uh, within about six months of me starting back in 2018, we had the 500-year the flood. So, of course, it was eye-opening to see the involvement and how connected a United Way can become. Fast forward another six months, the pandemic hits. So giving me an opportunity to see what fundraising during the pandemic is uh, and just our involvement with that. I mean, we were able to provide over $100,000 in grants alone to local nonprofits and faith-based organizations. So having that opportunity to continue that mission going forward uh, is just vital for what I want to do. You know, you, there, you get a lot of corporate sponsorship. You get a lot of help from, from businesses. You have that that basis uh, uh, for fundraising. What's the message you want to send or at least tell those who are not a part of, of helping with United Way? Yeah, well, for us, it's just the impact that United Way has throughout the community. We have so many partners that see how connected we are. Their money is given to a, a very accountable organization, very established. This year, we're celebrating 94 years uh, in this six county community. And we work in the areas of health, education, financial stability and crisis. So of course, we're a wide array of services of what we do. So for those that don't know about us, we always ask, reach out to us. It's 479-782-1311, as well as go to our website, unitedwayforcement.org. We'd love to connect with you, love to see um, what your organization does and how, how we can benefit from each other. You know, and that's that's the key thing here is is 94 years in, uh, helping out in the in the Fort Smith area. Uh, one thing that should not go unnoticed is that every dollar that is raised, 100 percent is used. I remember the campaign from a couple of three or four years ago of 100. That really, to me, is a big thing. Yeah, so we're actually rolling into our 12th year of that. So back in 1990, some local investors put money into an endowment fund for us. Since then, we've grown that to where the last 12, well, really 11 years, we've been able to 100% have all of our operational um, expenses covered. So what that means is this building that I'm in, my salary, our, anything that we print, everything is paid for out of that endowment. So it allows every contribution that comes in to go directly back out to the community, which is vital for the work that we do, um, especially going forward in, uh, into the future. Two big things that I think a lot of people are familiar with with United Way, fill the bus, day of caring. Yes. Those are huge. Yeah. Yeah, so fill the bus. Uh, you know, it's, it's been a little different the last two years. COVID's prevented us a little bit from going out to local Walmart. So those that don't know about Fill the Bus, that's an initiative with United Way and Walmart to allow us the ability to collect school supplies for the upcoming school year for those that may be less fortunate. 
to be able to get school supplies. So for us, the last two years, we've been able to fundraise for that. Um, we're, we're waiting to hear what that looks like for this year, but we'll hopefully we'll be able to get some volunteers back out there and collect those school supplies. Um, and as far as day of caring, this year, it will be in April. Uh, April 21st is the tentative date that we're shooting for. That will allow us an opportunity to get uh, community leaders, uh, community volunteers to go out to local nonprofit agencies, not just the partner agencies of United Way, but all agencies across the six counties we serve and allow them the opportunity to volunteer. You know, it's funny, you'll see these corporations send out uh, people to uh, their, their workers out to these places for day of caring. And it's, it's almost a competition as to who can have the most. <laughs> It is, and we always like to announce that because we've noticed over the years it has become a competition. So mm -hmm. it's one of those things where uh, over the years we have, uh, we always announce the top five companies. I want you to talk about just real briefly uh, the, the agencies. 31 agencies pretty much covers every gamut of life, it seems, in, yes. the, in the Fort Smith area. Yeah, so, so that goes from youth services all the way up to programs for our seniors. So when we talk about Boys and Girls Clubs, Girls Inc., Boy Scout, Girl Scouts, all the way up to Project Compassion that's going to work with our elderly population. So we have a wide variety of partner agencies. And again, 100% of every contribution mm -hmm. received goes directly to not only those agencies, but the programs of those agencies. All right. Again, the, the website. I know there are some businesses that are, are struggling, but as things get a little bit better from this pandemic, you know they want to help out and you know they would like to help out. What's the easiest way for them to, uh, to do that? Easiest way, there's two There's two things. Number one, unitedwayforcement.org. It's a great connecting point to see, you know, who we are and the history behind United Way of Fort Smith area. In addition, please always reach out. It's 479-782-1311. They can reach out to any of us. We'd be, love to connect them uh, to us and just um, go forward with the partnership. And I know you're not bashful at all to go to a business and tout the, uh, tout the things of United Way. That's exactly right. I've done it for the last three years. And of course, I'll carry forward in the new role. <laughs> yeah. All right. Shay Tolberry, thank you so much. Congratulations. Uh, best of luck this year. And thank you so much for being here. Yep. Thank you, Darren.